KBAL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Ethan Houston. Those thunderstorms really had some high heights through the uh, evening hours, towering up to 50 to 60,000 feet and made for some beautiful pictures uh, that uh, we uh, captured and sent us to us on our Facebook page. Thank you very much. This is in Mechanicsburg from Selena, who got a nice picture of that strong thunderstorm in Millersville. Look, at this is from Jason. You can see the beautiful striations there of those towering cumulonimbus clouds. And under some of them were some hail. This was a Mount Holly Springs from early this morning. We had reports of peat and nickel sized hail, but we did have some quarter sized hail in thunderstorms back in Adams County. There may have been some hail in some thunderstorms in Adams and York County again earlier this evening. Overall threat for these thunderstorms continues to come down now that the sun has set. We still have that frontal boundary cutting roughly the Susquehanna Valley in half. Just an isolated shower now just outside of Brickersville or Brickerville in uh, Lancaster County now drifting over toward clay. This is going to be fizzling out here in about the next 10 to 15 minutes. So the front still sitting just to the north of US 30. It's going to be moving to the south while you sleep tonight ending our rain chances for the rest of the night. So overnight, stray shower possibly early, but decreasing clouds become less sticky. Temperatures fall into the lower 60s thanks to that lower humidity. It's going to feel comfortable first thing in the morning with a nice light breeze. Temperatures will be in the upper 60s. Then for tomorrow, highs will return to the low to mid 80s, but it won't be as humid. But the clouds start to build back in across the region. That leads to some scattered showers and possibly some thunderstorms late tomorrow night on into early Thursday morning. Pollen count for tomorrow is back up to a moderate level. The UV index will rise to a nine thanks to that high sun angle. You could burn in about 20 minutes. Our high today was 87 out at Harrisburg International Airport. And the low this morning was 75. We'll be below that before midnight. Only picked up a trace out at Harrisburg International Airport, but south of 30, we did see some heavy downpours. Here are rainfall estimates through the day today. Anywhere you see green, upwards of an inch or so in portions of Adams County and into Franklin County. Gettys or Gettysburg, you picked up just about two-thirds of an inch of rain. York, you picked up about a half an inch in that earlier shower and thunderstorm. Taking a look over effort of this evening, it is 75 degrees under partly cloudy skies, but dew points are still holding in the 60s. Right now, it's 76 in Harrisburg, 75 in Lancaster. And check out the dew points, 50s in Lebanon, 50 in Lewistown, but still low to mid 60s over the southern portions of the viewing area. Eventually, this cooler air will start to build back in across the region. So slowly but surely, that front will continue to be pushed to the south. It's all thanks to that large ridge of high pressure. But there's the storm system back over the Rockies that will move in here late tomorrow night. That's how fast it's moving and keep the rain chances fairly high on into our Thursday. So Wednesday looks great. Lots of sunshine in the morning, lower humidity. Winds will start to pick up and clouds will increase late in the afternoon. Warm front lifts overhead, leading to scattered showers and thunderstorms likely Thursday morning and continuing on in through the day. Rain chances will stay with us on into late Thursday evening and possibly lingering on into Friday. Chance for some severe thunderstorms will be possible as we head through the day. The Storm Prediction Center did have a slight risk of severe thunderstorms. That may have actually been dropped. We'll keep an eye on that and update you at 11. So chances for those passing showers and thunderstorms move out early on Friday. Drier weather, sticky weather will be around for Saturday and Sunday with highs in the low to mid 80s. It really was a soggy day today. That it was. Thank you, Ethan.